what is up guys in this video we're going to be talking about the frenzy auto shotgun nerf that happened in this week's update because if you guys were unaware they did reduce the range on the frenzy auto shotgun and i've been able to play a decent amount since the update try out the weapon see how i feel about it and let you know whether or not i think the weapon is still worth using and if the nerf is noticeable as always if you guys do enjoy this video remember to give it a like subscribe if you like to see more and comment down below what you think of the change and which shotgun you think is best right now in chapter 5 season 2. So in short, if you're one of those people that clicked on the video and just wants an answer without watching the video or any sort of explanation, uh, yeah, I think the nerf is noticeable, but it didn't really ruin the weapon. Like, you'll notice it and there will be situations where you're like, yeah, pre-nerf, I get that kill. But the weapon is still quite good and this nerf also didn't really change how I feel about the shotguns because I was already preferring the gatekeeper shotgun over the frenzy auto before this nerf. So they changed the second best option in my opinion so I still just prefer the first one. What did change with the nerf however is that the weapon, the range that it stops dealing damage like when the weapon will just do nothing and not hit the target anymore was reduced from 50 meters to 31 meters and this is what that looks like in game using like the pings 50 meters was already more than i ever planned on using the shotgun at and 31 meters is still further than what i would typically be using this weapon at so it's like that changed okay doesn't really matter though another aspect of the nerf and this is the one that actually will affect the weapon and how i think you'll actually notice it is that the damage drop off will now start at 7 meters instead of 10 and again, this is what I think you'll notice and actually be able to play around with and like feel that the weapon isn't performing as good as it did. Because like the way ranges work in this game, there's that range where the gun will just stop doing damage like we touched on at first. And then there's the ranges where damage drop off starts to happen where your weapon will be doing less damage based on how far you are from the opponent. Right. And seven meters versus 10 meters doesn't really sound like a lot. Like that's like three meters. It's no big deal. But it, it does matter in the context that like every single fight past seven meters, the frenzy auto shotgun will now be worse than how it used to be. Uh, and you might not be trying to be fighting that far away with your shotgun typically, but there's times where it'll happen. Like let's take 13 meters, for example. Before that fight would have some damage drop off, but not really that much because the, the drop off started at 10. So it's only been happening for a little bit. As you get further and further, the gun does less and less damage. But now it's going to be a decent amount weaker at those 13 meter ranges because the damage drop off started at 7 meters rather than 10. So, just like that's why I said, like any fight past 7 meters, the gun is now noticeably worse than how it used to be. And you might say to yourself, who really cares? It's not like I'm trying to use my shotgun at those ranges, anyways. 7 is still fine for like ideal shotgun range. And I, I agree for the most part. It's not like I'm going around looking for fights past 7 meters with my shotgun. Like that's not what you have in mind when you're using a shotgun. But where I really notice this most is going to be when players are running away from me or trying to get away from me. And that is something that will happen a decent amount when you're using shotguns in Fortnite. Like if you guys have played Fortnite, whenever someone's losing a fight, oftentimes they're not trying to stick around and just keep losing that fight. They want to get away and heal and things of that nature. So like this fight here... I hit the player with a hand cannon headshot to open the fight and this that's like perfect. I'm going to switch to my auto shotgun and now I'm just going to be able to clean this fight up even though they're running away and kind of getting further and further out of shotgun range. The frenzy auto should be fine for cleaning this up and prior to the nerf I think it would clean it up just fine but post nerf it takes quite a while for me to get this kill and the opponent potentially gets away. And yeah, my reticle was pretty large in that moment, so I wasn't really hitting many pellets, and I'm not going to be doing much damage. But I've had a lot of fights like that in the past with the auto shotgun, and I feel like it would typically like clean that kill up in like three or four shots. Zero build, you have 250 health. That opponent, we hit 156. He has like 84 health max. Three, four auto shotgun shots, I think, should be more than enough. It really shouldn't be that like close of a fight. But he almost gets away there, and my shotgun was hitting for slightly more than nothing. And that's how it felt in any fight at a decent range. The one of the things that made the Frenzy Auto Shotgun so insane, not only was it just like godlike up close, but how consistent it was at kind of some like close medium range fights too, because of the range the weapon had. But this nerf really hits the weapon's consistency and makes it a lot worse in any sort of range fight, whether that's you pushing the opponent or them 
getting away from you and those fights aren't ideal and you can still kind of play those moments it's just a lot worse than it was before and i think that's a situation that comes up somewhat often because i already touched on fortnite players love running away and i feel like you'll have a lot of moments with how the meta is right now where like you and an opponent are kind of mid-range sniping at each other then you body them with a snipe you go to shockwave push them swap to your shotgun maybe shoot them like once or twice while you're like landing on them but close enough to be doing some damage you know and then maybe as you land or as you're about to land they shockwave away you could still just stay on your shotgun and hit some shots and it'd be super easy to land shots on the shockwaving opponent with your shotgun and while yeah the shots weren't going to be hitting for much damage it was enough to finish out that kill if you had already gotten that body snipe and gotten a shot or two off before they shockwaved away now in those moments it feels terrible and it feels like the weapon isn't really going to do much damage i think those are the moments where you're really going to notice this nerf the most when people when you're shockwaving onto an opponent and you try to shock on them as you get there for that little bit of extra damage you know and when they're shockwaving or sprinting away or maybe even winging I, I rarely used it on winging opponents but i feel like fairly often i would get on someone and then shockwave uh, they would shockwave away and I could still hit like a few shotgun shots on them to get that damage and like, you know, get the kill or get them even weaker for when I shockwave onto them again. So, like anytime someone's running from you, the weapon feels a lot worse. It feels a lot less consistent. I feel like playing around cars, it's also going to feel a bit worse because when you're kind of jumping out of the car and shooting on the opponent on the other side of it, or maybe as they're running up to the car, th that's outside of that seven meter range. Uh you would be surprised how often or at least i was how often i was like kind of using the weapon outside of its ideal range and it just really kept up before whereas now it doesn't feel like that capable of keeping up the weapon just feels way more inconsistent and in super close range fights it's still a menace it's still insanely good it's still very easy to use and very overpowered but outside of that like ideal condition it's far less forgiving than it used to be and so while i noticed the nerf I don't really think it ruins the weapon and like I had already said at the start of the video it doesn't really change much for me because I already thought the gatekeeper was better anyway like given an option of like a purple gatekeeper or a purple auto I was going to be taking the gatekeeper especially if I'm able to get my attachments the only time I was really taking the auto before is if it was like a wide rarity difference like if I had a green gatekeeper and a purple or gold auto then yeah I'd use the auto but like most of the time if i had my choice of weapons and got to a workbench i was going to be taking the gatekeeper shotgun anyways so this update doesn't really change much for me i'm still going to keep using the gatekeeper but in those moments where you're using the auto shotgun a bit less consistent if you're someone who still prefers the auto shotgun i don't think you're crazy it's still a fine weapon you can still play with it and do good and win games it's just a bit less forgiving uh and a bit harder to deal with people running from you i think but that is going to be it for this video as always if you guys found this helpful informative interesting remember to give it a like subscribe if you like to see more comment down below what you think of the change and which shotgun you think is best right now if this nerf kind of changed your opinion and i will see you guys in the next video thanks for watching he's on the roof I don't know where he went. I mean, the Zeus Medallion was actually godlike right there. It was like hard to hit a music second round. It's over here somewhere.
Oh, please, out of shocks. Alrighty then. Was he? Yes, he was finally out of shocks. I feel like every single shockwave that spawned on the island that game was found by me and that player. Like, I don't know what was going on. When I fought him here and he got away, I was sad. But I was, like, low-key kind of happy afterwards because I got, like, five shocks out of this house. So I was, like, going forward, I'm going to be in a way better spot than him and he's not going to be able to run from me anymore. And then I double-bodied him on here and then I was like, okay, like, we can push that. There's no way he has more shocks. That was crazy, but I still think the auto shotgun is quite good. Like the nerf is noticeable, but I, I don't think it like completely ruins the gun. I already kind of preferred the gatekeeper anyway, so I think I still would rather have the gatekeeper, but I don't think the nerf like ruins it. 